welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I would also like to welcome Spirit into this reading and say thank you for the messages we are about to receive. This is a general reading. Okay, so you've got this barrier card over here. You're feeling very, very isolated, maybe very, very tied up, uh, you know, very, very boxed in, if you like. Uh, it's as though, you know, you can't seem to do anything. Maybe very, very stuck in this particular situation. You might be spending a lot more time uh, at home as well, um, you know, and, um, you know, maybe time, more time with your family. Uh, but whatever's happening over there, it seems like you're waiting for some kind of legal decision to come in, and that's frustrating you as well. It's making you feel very, very restricted. So, uh, in the past, you've got the generosity card and the victory card, so it looks like there's been little gifts that have been coming in for you. Some good news may be coming in for you, or maybe there's been things that have been happening uh, that appear to be like almost spiritual gifts, if you like. You've got that victory card over here, so there might, it might have been some good news that came in for you uh, that has caused you to celebrate recently. Now, going to the future, you've got the doubt card, so this is a bit of self-doubt coming in over here, and, uh, you know, you're second-guessing yourself, but you need to rely on your instincts and rely on your gut feeling uh, before you make any decisions, because it seems like, you know, you are quite psychically aware of what is going on, and you do know what to do, so don't second-guess yourself and don't doubt yourself. Um, so you are feeling a little frustrated over there and you are waiting for that decision to come in, whatever it is. It seems to be some kind of legal decision that comes in for you. So those are the energies for those two weeks. So this is the zombie tarot. I have shuffled the deck. So the bottom of the deck, you've got the Five of Wands. So you're dealing with a very conflict, you know, a lot of conflict, a lot of competition in that situation that you're dealing with. Uh, you know, people wanting to get their words in and nobody's listening to what you've got to say. So you're dealing with a lot of people that are giving you a lot of grief around you. There might be a lot of petty arguments or petty fights that are emerging from this particular situation. And, you know, you're being, um, you're right in the middle of everything over there. So a lot of arguments, a lot of power struggle going on uh, around you. So you've got the Four of Hazards and you've got uh, the Eight of Hazards. Now, Hazards is, in this deck, it's the Pentacle suit. So a lot of things going on in your work life over here. The Four of Hazards is about trying to establish, uh, you know, your stability. But you can see this man's having to defend himself. Uh, he's sitting by himself uh, with all the things that he has accumulated. So this is protecting the things that you have worked for. And that is where you are at. He's got a gun in his lap. So, you know, you are having to stand up for yourself. Uh, uh, but you're doing it by yourself. So nobody's really supporting you and you're having to maybe, uh, you know, uh, defend all your actions even at work because so many people are coming up against you. So there's so much of conflict that is going on around you. It seems like see, people are questioning everything that you're doing at the moment. You've got the eight of hazards over here that's crossing it which is the Eight of Pentacles, and this is about you're learning a lot on this job. So you might be have started this job. It might be a new job. You might even be, you know, almost taking on like a, an apprentice kind of role where you're learning as well as working on this job. And there's a need, you know, you're very, very stressed out. This man's head is in a pressure cooker here. So, you know, you're very, very stressed out at this particular moment. And there is a need for you to think outside the box. In other words, Think of alternative ways of doing things in order for you to, um, you know, get out of that situation, in order for you to make the situation work for you. And it looks like, you know, there's a lot of competition. Maybe people are coming up with ideas. There's a lot of power struggle here. Um, and, you know, you are having to protect everything that you're working for here. Uh, you know, you, you are accumulating a lot of information. Well, you are learning a lot of things right now, but whatever that situation is that you are in, it's extremely stressful right now. You're under a lot of pressure, maybe a lot of people making a lot of demands on you right now. So in the past, you've got the Six of Hazards over here, and uh, this is about, uh, you know, working very, very hard, people almost dangling a carrot over there. So you're working towards some kind of goal. So like I said, this could be an almost an apprenticeship 
uh, job, maybe somebody's, you've been promised uh, a promotion and they've asked you, you know, you have to put in a lot of hours, extra hours, extra work. This person's really working very hard and somebody's dangling this piece of meat over there. So maybe you had, um, you know, you've got this idea of a promotion in mind and a lot of people vying for that same particular post um, and you've had to work extremely hard. And there's a lot of pressure, there's a lot of deadlines that you've got to meet. This stress might be getting a lot uh, for you and maybe you've been thinking about actually walking away from it uh, because there's a lot of drama that is going on uh, within that place that you're working in at the moment. So you've got the Eight of Cups. Um, it looks like you know, you are actually planning, you may be planning on actually leaving this particular job, walking away and doing something else. And you've got that five of swords. So you are dealing with a lot of conflict over there. <clears throat> you can see both these people fighting for that gun. So is that there's that power struggle. So there's not only petty arguments. There might be people saying some really nasty things. So it's getting uh, a bit um, upsetting. And there might be a lot of vindictive behavior, a lot of backstabbing going along, around. Uh, and you're, you know, you're having to uh, fight. Maybe nobody's recognizing your authority over there. Uh, people are very greedy. People are trying to grab as much as they can. Uh, so, you know, people are looking after their own, um, you know, careers and they're trying to make it. Uh, so it's, it seems like a very cutthroat kind of situation that you're in at this particular moment. And this is causing a lot of stress, a lot of pressure over there. Uh, you know, it's affecting you quite a bit very difficult situation to be in right now. So you've got the Queen of Swords over here. So there you are, uh, you know, you might be waiting for some kind of uh, decision to come in. Uh, maybe, you, uh, like I said, it could be a promotion that you're waiting for. This could be even some kind of legal decision. And you can see this lady's got the gun in her hand. So you're having to defend yourself, uh, stand up for yourself, and you have to be very determined in order for you to get things done. Maybe, uh, you know, um, not show people, you know, you have to show people that you are, you can do the job, but you've got to probably be that iron fist in that velvet glove. So you've got to, you know, develop very thick skin and you've got to be very, very um, ruthless in what you do with this queen of swords. Um, so this is about you waiting for that decision, but also being very determined and getting things done. And you're going to have to do it alone. There's not going to be very, very much support. The queen of swords, she goes through a lot of problems, but nobody's really there to stand her up. Uh, and you know defend her she's got to defend herself so in order for you to move forward it looks like you know you're going to have to stand up for yourself and you've got to be pretty ruthless in how you do it as well uh, pretty ambitious you've got the temperance card over here so you're going to have to use all your skills everything that you, you've learned you've got to use that and there's some advice that you might need to um, you know get in order for you to move forward. The Temperance card is also about um, getting that balance right. So don't get overly emotional about what you're doing. Make sure that you know you keep a cool head uh, before you um, make any kind of decisions. Don't allow all the stress uh, that you're going through because there's so much of stress over here with that Four of Hazards, the Eight of Hazards, then you've got that Five of Swords going on over there and you've got that Five of Wands. So there's a lot of uh, issues. And below that Five of Wands over here, you've got the moon card and you can see you're not even sleeping well at night you're having a lot of stress and anxiety over there uh, that you're going through at this particular moment so you know you're going to have to keep your wits about you you're going to have to come up with a new plan a new strategy pull out hidden weapons uh, you know you've got something that you can use there is something that you do have that is above uh, everybody else so you do have some kind of gift or something that you can do that is very unique to you that will allow you to be able to sort this particular situation out but make sure that you're keeping yourself in balance don't allow things to get under your skin really um, so you've got the Queen of Hazards over here. So whatever you do, uh, you know, you're going to be able to sort this particular situation out. And uh, with the Queen of Hazards or the Queen of Pentacles, money will be coming in. And, you know, this is probably going for that new promotion. And it looks like it's going to be made, um, the offer is going to be made for you. And you are going to get it. Um, you are going to take on that leadership role. So it's, there's a lot of struggle, but you will get it. But you need to, to act with authority and you have to be calm, cool, collected. Make sure that, you know, you keep a lot mind about you. You've got that Queen of Swords going in next to that Queen of Hazards, so it looks like whatever promotion or whatever you're being offered right now with this man's dangling this piece of meat over there and you've been working very hard for it, it looks like you get it and that's going to bring in the money. So in your hopes and fears, you've got, you're feeling still very, very negative about things and you're very, very worried. Maybe you feel like everybody's manipulating you as well around you. You're being very, very controlled within this particular situation. 
So the final outcome, uh, you've got the Hierophant over here, the Three of Swords, and the Knight of Hazards. So the Hierophant over there is getting some good, solid, practical advice on how to deal with the situation. Uh, and that is going to be the thing that gets you uh, through. So go and do some research. This is very, very important with the Hierophant card. Um, it, it's about getting sound advice and following that advice. So you've got this man on the news coming in. So go on the internet, uh, you know, go and ask people who have gone through the situation on how to actually cope with it. There is somebody around you that will be able to help you through it. You've got the Three of Swords over here. So, uh, you know, this is about... Um, Cutting your ties with people that uh, cause any kind of emotional problems for you in the sense that if they're causing things or they're saying things that are very nasty, just ignore them and walk away. The Three of Swords is, is generally the heartbreak card, but I think it's also about breakdown of communication between you and people around you. Maybe all this argument has caused you to have problems with people that you're working with or even problems communicating with them. Um, so you need to actually cut ties with them because they are really, you can see this forks going right into the heart over there. So that whatever they're saying is really affecting you on the emotional level, on the emotional front. So you actually need to, uh, you know, cut ties with them. Don't allow them to drain your energy or don't allow them to get you down. And then you've got the Knight of uh, Hazards. So <coughs> there seems to be some kind of obstacle over there in your pathway. It's causing a lot of upset and depression over there. Uh, you know, maybe you feel like you can't go forward. But with the Knight of Hazards, which is the Knight of Pentacles, you know, just keep going. Just hang in there and just keep working at what you're doing. And you will be able to overcome this uh, particular uh, situation. You might feel as though you're in a car crash or in a car wreck right now. Like everything seems to be in a, in a bit of a mess. And there's somebody standing in your way over there. And, you know, they've got the red light flashing over there that says that you, know, you can't go forward or, or preventing you from going forward. But if you just keep going in this particular situation just keep you know put your head down and just keep working it looks like you know you will be able to reach that position of being um the queen of hazards or the queen of pentacles you will get that position of authority or you will get that promotion that you have been waiting for and it's going to generate extra money for you so this is going to be a pay rise as well that comes in for you so going through a very difficult situation, but you just need to hang in there. Have the patience. Hang in there. Uh, you know, try and de-stress. Uh, you know, look after your body. Uh, take some time off. Medi uh, you meditate. Do some stress management as well with that temperance card. And that, that is how you are going to be able to get through all these problems that you're going through at the moment. Now, you've got the Ace of Spring. So this is like a new offer coming in for you. So it's time to take action. Be fearless and happy to pursue your most treasured dreams, amazing career opportunities. So after going through all the stress, it looks like that Ace of Spring is bringing in some new project, some new um, job coming in for you over there. Uh, so that is going to be coming in. And you will have to act pretty quickly. So um, you know, you'll have to make a decision pretty quickly. You've got the Moon card over here. So powerful, intuitive epiphanies, letting go of worry and fear and understanding the truth about the situation. So there's a new Moon over there. And this shows that, uh, you know, you are still very, very confused, a bit upset, still a bit depressed about what is going on over here. But there's something that is hidden. You do need to do that research. It's important for you to do that research. And, uh, you know, don't let... Um, don't get very emotional. This is about trying to keep your emotions in check and get that balance. And don't uh, expect the worst. The moon always uh, you know, amplifies things. It makes things seem worse than they aren't. And they, you know, they, it might not be as bad as you think it is. And you've got that two of spring over here, a bright new future manifested through hard work and creativity, partnering with others who share your dreams, great progress being made. So there is somebody around you that is going to come and help you. There's also that decision that you have to make with the two of spring or the two of rod. So you are reaching that fork in the road about what to do next. So there might be even two job offers that come in for you uh, over here, but it's, there's definitely one that is coming that you're going to really enjoy and accept it. But this is also talking about whatever this new job offer is, you might be working with somebody with that two of spring. So it could be a, a kind of a partnership, a collaboration that you do and you start this new job and it's going to bring in a lot of abundance as well and there's a lot of growth that comes in for there with with that new job so there is some kind of offer coming in you are going for some kind of position there's a lot of competition people around you being really really nasty and you being very very pressurized uh, under a lot of stress right now but it looks like it's the you know the outcome is going to be quite positive with that queen of wands uh, uh, queen of hazards which is the queen of pentacles so it looks like it's going to be a positive outcome but you just need to hang in there and uh, you know uh, not get very very emotional about the whole situation be very very logical stand up for yourself 
really uh, speak your truth with that Queen of Swords. And she's got a gun here, so, you know, shoot down the competition if you like. Not literally, but, uh, you know, um, well, you have something that's very unique and make sure that you are exploiting that or showing people that you have unique skills. And that is how you're going to, uh, you know, overcome any kind of obstacles or barriers and move forward. And, and also, if anybody is, you know, saying things to you that are very negative, cut them out of your life. Uh, don't give them any airtime, really. Make sure you're doing your research. So I hope that this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave me some comments if it has. Thank you so much for watching.